My name is Tony Vandenberg. I'm the uh, Executive Director of Project Management for Lake Oswego School District. The history of the site goes back to the early pioneer days of the Bryant family. The location where the new building's sitting is where the old Bryant Elementary School used to sit. So this school is a brand new middle school located on an existing middle school site. Uh, very early on, we had input from our community about the trees, about the existing building, and a desire to honor the history of the site. And so there was a lot of concern about removing the trees. So we started thinking about different ways we could incorporate either old building materials from the existing building or some of the uh, natural features of the site. Our architect brought forward a number of ideas. One of the ideas was use some of the trees for structural columns within the building. And that started to catch on and we decided to proceed that way. It's a, it's a good way to uh, bring the nature inside. The building has visual perspective that, that brings you inside and out. So bringing the trees in is kind of a natural way to keep the outdoors in, in a way. It's a really cool story to have the trees actually come from the site. Lake Oswego is a really tight-knit community. They're very invested in, in the use of their land space, and so to be able to see the trees come from the site and be reused in the new building is something that everyone has been really excited about. You know, it's one of those things where new construction, there's always concerns about the impacts that it has to the community. And so to see a benefit like this has been really cool. By virtue of where the building had to go on the site, unfortunately that was the area where there were some of the most beautiful trees. And so obviously we, we did our best to sculpt the building around several of the trees, but inevitably a lot of them had to come down and whole trees was a great way for us to continue to use those in the building. I ended up sitting out on site for about four hours while Scansa slowly craned the first one in. Um, it's really cool to see. Um, I think one of the benefits of working with Whole Trees and Autodesk is that we're able to actually have the digital models of the actual trees we're using. And so during design, we shuffled them around, we rotated the columns. And I remember at the last minute, we actually moved one of these columns north from the commons to this north part. And seeing it in person and recognizing the column as the particular column that I chose to put in that location was really cool. Whole Trees is a small woman-owned business from Madison, Wisconsin, and our mission is a very simple but ambitious one. We're looking to fundamentally change the built environment by bringing stronger connections between the built and natural worlds. So we use structural round timber, essentially tree trunks or large branches of trees, as columns, beams, trusses, and other structural and also decorative systems returning to really the original building materials that humans used and bringing that into the 21st century with modern understandings of design and engineering and material science.